Okay, so I mentioned uh, Bailey. Dr. Uh, I mentioned a couple of these people. So Dr. Bailey is one of them. Jacques Bailey, does anyone know Jacques Bailey? Does anyone know Jacques Bailey at all? Okay, so he's a professor in classics here. He's been here for a long time. He lives just around the corner from me. He, uh, so, you know, there, we, we won't go through this video, but I'll just show you this a little bit. Of this. Here we go. Oh, no. Discover, I like your card, but I'm absolutely not paying an annual fee. Discover has no annual fees. Really? Yeah. We just don't believe in them. Oh, nice. You Have would not I believe how long I've been rehearsing that. Project. No annual fee on any card, only from Discover. Pardon me, Professor. Maybe you can help me out here. So this is, is this word pronounced cash or cache? Cash. Appreciate it, Doc. You see, when Jock Bailey pronounces a word, he pronounces it right. He can pronounce this thing. Smaragdon. He can pronounce this thing. Sharon Schnitter. He even pronounces words that don't make a lick of sense. Albumen. And when you're that damn good with words, sooner or later someone's gonna pay you to say them. Hi, Dr. Bailey. This is Jock Bailey. So you can watch this later on. So he's the he's the the script spelling bee guy, right? And he was on A Killer and the Bee, which was a movie. He's he's in there, you know. So he's he's the one who asks the questions. And then the rest of this thing we'll show you. But he he won it in 1980 with a lucubrate, which means to study into the night. It's like midnight oil is built into that word. Actually, that's what it is. Um, so he knows a lot of words. And I think here's some story that if you if you can give him a word that he can't spell in his class, he'll give you an A um, with some conditions, I guess. But um, <laughs> Anyway, he's over in classics here, and we've had him on some of our students' uh, uh, th uh, theses, actually, when they're working on uh, um, language things. So lots of fun. He knows a lot of words. All right, so why am I talking about him? Because this is a, his vocab is unparalleled, pretty much. And then let me just get rid of this thing. Is that what it's trying to do? Wow. Oh, I should push that thing. I think it'll be better this. All right, okay, good. Amazing. There it is. It's kind of stuck in there. Okay. So um, <clears throat> there's a test here, and you can do this. We, we won't do this now, but you could run a test. So the idea is we're going to start down the base of the, the distribution. Uh, the, the, this sort of, we're going to rank all the words from most common to least common. And you have to just click which ones you know Right, which, which words you don't, right? So they get a little bit harder as you go out here, or a little less common, I should say. Vib vibracy. I don't know how to say that properly. Does anyone know what that means? Whiskers? No? Um, so, these are, so the idea is you, you honestly answer these, and then it will reveal harder ones further down. So it's an estimate, because we're not going to ask you 40,000 words, right? That's hard. So how do you deal with this sort of weird distribution? So you could play around with that. It's a clever little thing. But the idea is to somehow get an estimate of your vocabulary. So how do you sample from these distributions? And that's a fun way of doing it. Um, there's more in there. This is, this is the bottom one is a link to uh, ESPN ads because Script Spelling Bee is on ESPN and then they make ads with him in it because that's what ESPN does and they're ridiculous. I think he's dressed up in a bumblebee suit and stuff. Okay. 